if we want to look at an EDI document, if I open up this EDI document that I have here, So as we look into these EDI documents, what you're going to see is you're going to see something that's common amongst them. And common amongst them is these, what are called segments and elements. So if you think of segments and elements in the way of parent-child relationships. So this BEG segment is the beginning part of a purchase order. Anything to the right of it with a character in between, a lot of times it's an asterisk, sometimes it's a tilde, sometimes it's different characters. The next portion is an element. So BEG01 is an element. So those standards that we run across in the EDI world give us definitions of what a segment is or what a segment can contain, and then the elements that are a part of that segment. You're also going to find in an EDI document, again, follows those rules of, of standards, you might have ISA information. And a part of those ISA segments, ISA segment, elements are a part of that. And those, if you look to it even further, and let me open it up in, I'm going to open it in uh, Notepad to make it look a little bit better for you. And I know most people are like, better? Jim, that's just a bunch of information I can't follow. So what you have here is you have your ISA, your GS, and your ST. So think of this in an EDI document or in every EDI document of your beginning envelope. So if you have an envelope and you think of an envelope, the front side of your envelope has your address information who it's going to, who it's from. That's in your ISA, your GS, and your ST. The inside part, or starting with a B, so we have B in most occurrences of an EDI document. We have B all the way down into our lower portion of an EDI document. You'll have what they refer to as a CTT um, or a C segment. Inside of the C, so this is our bulk information inside of our envelope or what our letter that we're sending to that prospective person or business in this case. The S-E-G-E-I-E-A is the sealing or the licking of that envelope and sealing it shut. So beginning part, ISA, GS, ST, ending part, SE, GE, IEA. That's your EDI document in a nutshell. So segments, elements, characters in between, and a character to close off that particular segment. So it's usually a tilde, could be a carriage return, could be anything like that. But if I learn what a BEG is, or an REF, or a CSH, or a DTM, if I learn those segments, those segments can be used across the board in various EDI documents. So a BEG is always going to be the beginning part of a purchase order. The DTM is a date-time date reference segment. So that's always telling me what's coming to the right of it is going to contain either a date or a time. And then you might have qualifiers. Those get a little bit more tricky, and those are different codes or values that represent what this date is. So we're not going to get that far into it, but uh, uh, that was one piece or part of what is EDI, getting a little technical for you. The other thing that you're going to run across, in this case, this is a, what's called an Amazon mapping guide. So Amazon, as everybody knows who Amazon is, they supply mapping guides. These guidelines tell us what we're handling. So this is an 850 purchase order. It's in that standard. X12 is the standard. And it's version 4010. So version of the standard dealing with our purchase order document 
and then it lays out how the information should be handled. So the ISA, the GS, what's used, what's not used, all of those things. You don't need to learn all of this unless you want to. You can rely on somebody like, like me or my company at EDI Support to help you in understanding. But if we say, hey, what's a mapping guideline? Now you know what a mapping guideline is. Or the specifications for a particular document. Now you know what that is. This is telling you how to set up that particular EDI document. That's EDI in a nutshell. When people say to you, what is EDI? It's a business document being exchanged between two entities. Any questions, reach out. We're here to help. And I hope you have a great day.